What do we need to do while well, executive session? Just start again. Say we're back in. Yeah. Regular. No action taken. No, we'll no action taken. We are back in session at 11.05. Um, and organizational meeting, I'm not sure. Yes. I have one more thing on Justice Center. Yes, one more thing. One more thing. Um, I talked to Tom Potts and I got some preliminary numbers for the FF&E. Um, as you remember, at least from the leadership team meeting, floors one, three, and four uh, were not really fond of the desk that had been proposed. So they were going to do some built-ins. Built -ins. They were checking on price of built-ins. And um, so with, with some numbers, shifted around the built-ins um, is about 64,000 but the initial initial desks that they were going to get was 59,000 so, we got 5, so the net is a five thousand okay. dollars um, so he's taken it I've got the total furnitures appliances miscellaneous is 241 which he's already taken the 59,000 out of that number um, Gene has asked for an additional or an upgraded high density filing for the first floor uh, on state term pricing is uh, 25 555 uh, again the desks for the three floors because uh, city of tiffin is taking care of their own and they actually do like the other desks that is 64,000 um, then the city of tiffin's got their built-ins the av total is uh, 175 that's in addition to the sub stuff? Yes. So 330, we're at 175, okay. So we're about 440, 442? I got 405, what did I miss? Uh, 241 starting. Uh, 25, 555. 25, 25 additional, that's 266. Okay, then I got 64,000. That's 330. And the, oh, I guess I gotta give you that number. The 12,773 is for the cities cabinetry which, so will, which will they'll be add back in and then we got the 175 so I come up with 405 okay which he's got total is as a 518 reducing part of the ff and e that are is for the city part is for us they've got 76,000 listed um, for the portion so our portion is about 440 and we put aside 450 and that's what our bid was that's was the 450 okay. so and did um, you there were some discussions at the leadership team meeting that any additional costs outside of, you know, original would be put back on to the departments. So right. I wanted to bring these numbers to you. Um, I know they want to start getting kind of some stuff, start ordering. Um, so I wanted some guidance from this board on how to proceed. I'm going to meet with uh, the city tomorrow and kind of let them know where they're at. The initial concern was that there were a number of changes that were requested and I had a conversation with the architect regarding interior finishes um, and that we wanted to make sure they didn't get out of control. Mm -hmm. So we met with all those, or all of them were invited, many of them showed up. Uh, and we said at that point that within reason, and if it was part of the original drawings, we would certainly accept it, but if there were modifications that were made that were significantly different and cost us money, uh, that that would be have to be borne by the individual judges and or the individual offices. Uh, it, it seems to me that everything that's been requested at this point is well within reason, except for the five thousand dollar difference. But that certainly is much less than anybody anticipated in the difference. So I'm I'm okay with the changes to the FF&E, but that's up to this board. I'm okay with the changes. I just have one question on sure. the Jean's change. So that is it. Did it take out the fact instead of this, she's going with this one, and so that cost came out. This cost went in, or is it a grand additional total, just additional cost? I think it's some coming in, some going oh, out. They right. didn't I anything, anticipated. Yeah, they didn't give me the exact amount on that one. Um, she is paying for additional filing cabinets as much as she can out of her title department, um, uh, moving some of the, moving as many as she can. So. Sure. this was um, giving and taking a little bit but yeah the, I was hoping that's how it worked out for her because I was hoping she you know it's like so this is the time to right. get it right to what she needs and if it was okay we're not gonna this gives her more but, space and yeah. more storage and um, it, it's what she's what she's asking for okay, let me let me get my 
head wrapped around these numbers again because I'm not I'm not at the 440. So okay. I need we start out at 241. Okay. Uh, and we're adding 25. Yeah. Okay. That gets us to 266. I just got these wrote down from Tom and I's conversation. I'm sure that the that number is right, but I just don't know how we got there. Sixty-four. Is Sixty-four. It's three thirty, five fifty-five. Yep. And then twelve, seven seventy-three, which I think he included in his additions. Twelve. Okay, the twelve thousand. It's for the city, years. but I think he's put this in his. In his well, I, what I'm trying to do is get the net cost for us, eliminating the city's cost. Okay, so you got to take out the seventy-six and the twelve seven seventy-three. So that would be. Let me get. That. I got five oh five. Uh, that's right, 505. Um, that is right. And he's got down here, county's cost would be the 442, 328 is what he has down. Okay, we can go over those numbers later. Yep, Again, I, 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 I'll have him. Commissioner Stationer coming up with the same number. I'm coming up with 505, he's saying 440. I, I just don't know where we're at with that. Yeah. Uh, and this is just what he had sent me this morning quick so we just had a quick conversation yesterday um i did call him to clarify the sixty-four thousand that the 59 was taken out of the uh, ff and e okay well that that number that we're off you were saying 440 that 64 number yes is about the difference of what we're off in other words 505 uh, and 440. maybe he thought the judges were gonna you were gonna ask the judges to pay for that and then maybe that could be but that's that's where we're that off right the there, 64. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, anything else on FFD or Justice Center? Organizational meeting. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is all about. Organizational meeting. Um, I think I sent you an email. Uh, there were some questions on the meeting, the first of the year that we need to have oh, as oh, our oh, reorganizational oh, meeting. Thank you. Yes. Um, January. The date. Yeah, the date uh, currently it will be January 8th. As mm -hmm. The code says uh, the Board of County Commissioners shall organize on the second Monday of January of each year by the election of one of its members as president for a term of one year. Uh, I sent it to you guys to so read the rest of it, but I know there was some potential scheduling conflicts. That I thought they, they, they changed it this past year to one or before. It, it has not changed. I checked with Derek, and Derek looked. I printed this code as of Mar or, uh, September 1st and asked Derek, and Derek yeah, said it hadn't changed. I don't know how fast they update the code that we can have access to. I, I don't know. I asked Derek to check, yeah. and he said the code hasn't changed. Okay. Um, whether he just pulled it, it doesn't up. matter. Yeah. Yeah, I, just, I, just, well, I, I thought I remembered yeah. reading, reading something that they had changed it. Well, my problem is I can get back on the 8th, but I will be back in the evening of the 8th because I couldn't get back in the morning. Yeah. Um, so I'm asking for some leave. If you don't show up, you're going to be president again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I, I, I know I'm, I'm trying to be respectful of your schedules as well. Yeah, I didn't know if um, anybody else had any scheduling conflict that day. I know, Shane, you had asked me about this code at one point, um, wondering if we could just do it on Tuesday. And that's, I pulled the code and then I asked Eric um, to verify, so I didn't know. So wanted. the code, so code says, could be a different day. No, no. code says it needs to be the 8th. That's, yeah. But Shall if I you have a scheduling conflict and a scheduling conflict, <laughs> I just could we uh, could we I know we can't do it the year before that but could uh, on the 26th of December which is the day after Christmas uh, I'm not gonna be like Friday kids for Christmas but <laughs> on the day after Christmas uh, you know, could we preliminarily get things settled come to an, at least a discussion and a work session as to what what um, assignments we would take oh absolutely and then um, I just need to know if I'm having a meeting on the 8th. Okay. Well, or then, if I'm having a meeting on the 9th. Just a, are you back for an evening meeting? I'm coming back for an evening I, meeting. I, I don't, um, an evening meeting doesn't offend me. 
that's what you're asking. Okay, if that, if that works, again, again, I want to be respectful of you guys' schedules because I know that uh, if we have to do it on the 8th, you know, I could do a 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock meeting. I think I can get back in here by, uh, you know, 1 o'clock or whatever. It took me an hour and a half to get home. So something late, late afternoon. Continue with the weather. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, we can still have the organizational meeting if we've come to an agreement now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, year, so. Okay. I mean, I okay. So if it's okay with you guys, we can. We don't need to set it this moment. But uh, if it's okay with you guys, and you don't have anything going on that night, evening meeting the eighth. Is that yeah. okay with you, Holly? It's fine. We'll just have to. Staff flex their time. Let Jimmy Whatever know. Wait. So that we're not making them. Let Jimmy know so he won't show up to that one either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I guess we'll bring it up again December when we're going over the organization <coughs> yeah. to verify yeah. what time. Yeah, let's just make sure we'll have a work session in that way. Yeah, on the 26th, we have a work session, everybody agrees to everything, and then it'll be pretty quick. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, so, building committee update. I am going to go through this very quickly and, and again, respect for time. I've got one of my PowerPoint presentations up here. This is the old man's version of a PowerPoint. But that, I will go through it very quickly. I just kind of wanted to bring her. We kind of had an executive committee meeting. I wanted to let everybody know uh, where we're at with the kind of some of the building things that we've done. So, you know, the museum, we put $100,000 in this kind of all this stuff this year. Board of Elections, BOE, that's, that's the Board of Elections. We've, we're, going, we're in the process of doing that relocation. The prosecutor, we've relocated them down to the old Fifth Third building. Um, services building, there's, uh, these are just the larger issues. Uh, the uh, uh, RTA building, uh, we've done some HVAC, some asphalt, some structure repairs there. We also would like to do another mold check. Uh, there's some concern that there's some mold in there. We had done it before. There wasn't any real significant count that to be concerned about, but I think we owe it to the employees to check it again. Done a number of things the engineers building, done a number of things at the jail building, and also done a number of things about the maintenance building. Now, those are all the pluses. I think we need to emphasize the fact that we have been aggressive in uh, uh, making certain that our buildings are in good shape and new roofs on and where they need to be. The negatives are the fact that we got to do something with 81 Jefferson Street. That 9900 represents the number of square feet in there. However, I think usable square feet is significantly less than that. Um, the TB hospital is where there is a lot of storage right now of records, uh, and that building is screaming for some type of repair. We've got still some issues on the RTA building. 108 Jefferson, which is the Carnegie uh, Library, uh, and that has about 7600, again, configured uh, differently, uh, we, that's still up in the air as to what to do with it. The ag building that, that uh, now uh, houses soil and water and also house state extension and a couple of other agricultural related things, that building is in need of dire repair. Um, I'm talking about significant uh, boiler systems, roofs, tuck and point. The building is uh, chopped up pretty good. The elevator probably needs to be replaced in the near future. Uh, if we keep it. So there are a number of things there. So there are a number of things on the plate uh, and I just think everybody needs to be aware of being aware of what we have is you know is, is at least one step towards solving the problem. 81 Jefferson Street we've talked about this thing until nobody wants to talk about it anymore but the fact is that the building is unusable to us. Um, uh, the, only, the only thing holding us back from putting on the auction block, at least from my stance, is that we need to have an alternative site for the people for storing. Uh, so having said that, we need to force ourselves into a time frame. So my suggestion is, whether the city is interested in it or whether it should be a public sale, uh, that we ought to make a decision that we're going to go ahead and sell it uh, with the covenant that we need at least six months after it's sold before it can be occupied or otherwise used. Uh, and that will force us within that six month period to make a decision regarding storage. Uh, we, it's, not, it's not for a lack of inquiry and hard work that we haven't found storage, it's just that we haven't really come up with a solution. Um, you know, I, I played with it a little bit. The fact is, is that we can renovate and update 
current buildings that we want for storage. We can retrofit a couple of buildings, one of them be in the Carnegie Library. We could uh, hopefully find some space near the courthouse that's not retail space that would be uh, climate controlled and adequate for storage. Or we could put a facility up that is built for the purpose of storage to begin with. I really see it, those are really our options. And I'm not sure, you know, which direction we're going to end up going, but that's that's what's in front of us. Um, so, uh, I guess I open it up for discussion. I appreciate the summary and look at you know all that stuff's going on, but except putting it all on on your PowerPoint here is good. Um, but before us, the um, uh, the discussion of 81 Jefferson, I 100% agree that I think we ought to put a time frame to that in which method um, that we move out of that being under our inventory for multiple reasons. One, so it's not under our inventory and under our expenses anymore. And two, it's put to better use for the community in the downtown area. So whether that is to transfer to another public entity and or to put up for sale, I'm for whichever. And then with that transfer of that property, however long that takes, then we need six months when we know it's transferred to get documents out, which will then force us to finding, even if it's, if we think we're going to some way, someday build, and I'm going to move down that list on the right there a little bit, um, is that we would then know, okay, we now know we, we're, we're moving on something else. We, we need a short-term lease agreement with someone to put this stuff somewhere until we have something with the storage facility, or we need something longer term. TV hospital, yeah, not the best situation, much better condition, I think, than 81 Jefferson. Still costs us money. I'm going to skip over the RTA. Um, the Carnegie, same thing. I think that building could be better hand, handled, owned by somebody else when we are uh, got everybody moved out of it. Um, the Ag Building, Soil and Water, OSU, the Farm Service Agency, all part of USDA, rent space from us um, out there. And I, for a long time, it felt I'd love to be able to see us venture into some kind of public-private partnership on something new for those services and maybe with the document storage part of some structure on land that we already own out there you know where that building sits and in that vicinity is out the town is there potential of something happening there offices have been consolidated over time our county is top in workload in some of those departments when you look at what's going on because of the federal dollars for M MCRS as well as soil conservation service that happen. These are great services to have locally for the ten citizens of Seneca County and I'd like to not see that change. Um, but we're going to have to address an issue mm -hmm. because of the building. And so what can we be as if it's proactive or not, I don't know, but <laughs> in, in looking forward to what we can do there. And is there some potential uh, public private partnership for the construction of something to address those needs. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you on the egg building. I know this is a separate issue, but um, as with any large situation, OSU is always looking to consolidate their services. We certainly would be one of the spots that we would want them to consolidate too. Uh, Seneca Soil and Water services uh, not only Seneca County, but other counties. Is, I mean, that whole system does. Mm -hmm. So, again, we would like to be the hub of where that goes, but we, I think that we've got to be proactive and we've got to be aggressive in saying that, you know, we realize that your current digs, for lack of a better word, aren't the best. Uh, we'd like to get together and maybe talk about something a little nicer and something that we can be proud of for the county and uh, take the first step in trying to get that stuff housed uh, in Seneca County uh, to make sure, certain that it happens in the future. I would definitely support so you. I agree. I think we have some. Uh, that's supposed to be a positive and negative. There, those things, by the way. So, 81 Jefferson. Uh, they didn't come through on the PowerPoint. I might have to kind of flip in, but yeah, the uh, laser pointer wasn't. <laughs> so, 81 Jefferson Street. I, I do we have consensus that we want to get that thing solved? And uh, Shane, I know you had some conversation with city folks about you know just basically handing it over to them. Um, yeah, I think the, my conversation, the mayor would like to see it and have that conversation. Okay. So I think before our next work session, I would like to have those tours done 
And okay. then uh, at that work session, we'll have John's report on Carnegie Library and what, what, what the chances of that becoming storage are, and we'll have that conversation. And then that puts us in a position to set a timeline. Okay. Under the category of not making the same mistake twice, we have offered tours for anyone that's interested um, in both Carnegie and 81 Jefferson Street to see if there is anything that has enough historical significance that they would like to uh, either take it over or, or at least have a discussion about the value of the building from the historic standpoint. So we have made that offer and we hope to get those tours completed um, as soon as uh, folks are available to do that. Uh, we don't want to ignore that uh, group in the community who are very good people that do a lot of volunteer work and, and find out whether or not they, they see anything that, you know, there may be some items, again, not to repeat the past, there may be some items in both of these buildings uh, that if either one or the other were torn down that ought to try to be saved prior to us raising the building. So we want to make sure we do those kind of things, whether it be fireplace mantelpieces or um, crown, some of the fancy crown molding that was done or that kind of thing. Prior to anybody raising the building. You said prior to anybody. Building. Prior to anybody. <laughs> anybody. Yeah. Anybody raised. Yeah. And I think those folks have been made aware of who to get hold of if they want to get something set up. I tried to make sure in the emails that they had uh, John Lawson's well, email, they had Stacey's yeah, email. Maybe we just set so a they date just, and uh, you know, that's their opportunity. I, mean, that was, I think that kind of makes sense. Again, we, we have a uh, working session next week? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can further discuss this. All the credit for this goes to John and Tanya. They're the ones that really do all the work here. Uh, Tanya itemizing these things, having a discussion with, I mean, along with Stacy, but I mean, they're, they're, they're the ones in the trenches and those kind of things. So they did a nice job putting it together. And I do want to compliment John on getting the uh, building, the maintenance building painted on Jefferson Street. That was flaking really was bad when you just got it painted. It uh, looks much better. Still the truth. Mm -hmm. We already done it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, Sheriff's Office Oven. That ought to be a hot topic. Hot topic. Um, I'm going to jump back just to one old business, um, the Board of Elections renovation. I had mentioned, that, uh, maybe not last meeting, the meeting before, um, some interest in getting some tables for that room. I did get an update, and um, I haven't had a chance to talk to Holly about this yet. We got an update. They were looking for an island um, in the middle of the room. Um, we had Hilties give us a quote, and then we had the gentleman that did the uh, counter in there give us a give us a quote, and. Um, I know you'd asked me to talk to the Board of Elections to see what they have in their budget. We didn't put anything in their budget for putting furniture in there. Um, I did pull some numbers, I had Tanya pull some numbers on where were we at, where were we at in the process. Because um, I know it's mentioned, you know, we've got 250 there, but we, if we don't need it, we don't need to spend it. Um, but we did pull the island out of the initial contract to save some additional funding. We did pull the counter in the, on the back of that uh, office space out to save a little bit of money. And they are looking at getting those, those tables. And I know with the election coming up, they want to start doing training. She asked me again for uh, the tables the other day. And so I had to bring it back up. Um, where we're at now, total with encompasses charges, with Charles, the contractor's charges, and uh, some miscellaneous contract services, which included the um, counter that they built in with that uh, limestone top. We're sitting at about 216000 uh, We've spent 135 right now, but the, the money sitting there is two sixteen. So not that we want to spend the two fifty. I understand that, but Board of Elections does not have any funding in their budget for these, so I need to give them a... And, and so you're a asking for the tables, the, the, it's 4, 000, the island, and the in the back, um, the back counter, which they haven't got any price on that yet. Okay. They were just going to ask. Here, here's what I would feel comfortable with. I think that they need it, but I, I don't want to get into a situation where we're buying furniture for 
uh, a situation or a, a government sponsored agency, I guess, the Board of Elections that, uh, uh, that we would set a precedent with. I don't have any problem buying it. What I would like them to do is to come in here, adjust their budget, capital improvements, uh, whatever that number is, 20000 uh, to uh, purchase that as a one-time uh, request increase to their budget from the general fund, uh, rather than set a precedent and buy furniture uh, so that every time they need furniture, they come and ask us for furniture. Well, they're probably going to have to anyway. They get a very minimal budget. Um, okay. So unless they come in and Nat's in here, <laughs> um, and we were going to use it out of um, we have money sitting in 215 instead of putting it in the board of elections, we were going to just like we're doing with the justice center, paying for it out of the project. Um, that's what we were kind of trying to consider doing this with um, board of elections. We did say that the conference room was going to be a countywide conference room, so that's why we were more. Le um, What's your point? Just, just, um, I, I would like to just do it, get it done, I, and move I, on. I'll agree. I see what you're saying, Mike. I agree, but I remember at budget time, they when I know when I met with them, I think you and I, Stacy, met with them, and they talked about furniture. And we said, don't put that in your budget. We're going to have to deal with that. Don't plan on that because that just means we're going to have to make their budget bigger at the beginning. And we didn't know how it was all going to unfold. And the wins, the timetable wasn't outlined at that point. Okay. So, so do we have an up to number then, or? Where are we at? Since it feels like the, the consensus is to go ahead and approve it, give me a number then, will you? Um, okay, I've got uh, the island was uh, coming around up to 6000 and the tables were um, let's see, the tables were uh, 4500 and I don't have a price on that back counter, but it's just just like this piece counter on that back wall. I don't have a price for that yet. So you got ten five and uh, another five hundred, you think, for the counter? It's eleven thousand. Twelve. It's all part of what we've already approved, so we really don't right. need to You're approve just anything me more. Yeah. Then just to give you the guidance that it's okay to pay up. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion about that? Okay, here you go. We'll move on now again to our sheriff's office of them. On the hot topic. <laughs> um, got a request from the sheriff. He has another, uh, I think the last range going down, price for replacement of the oven. Um, he just has 48 inch uh, two burner, 36 inch griddle. This is the equipment they use the majority of to process the funds for the North Central uh, Education Service Center. Oh, All those grant, yes. And uh, so the quote he's got for the oven is 6600 and they've estimated uh, 750 to 900 in installation with the wiring and stuff. So what Sheriff is asking for is putting 7500 into the um, capital projects line for the jail. And whatever isn't spent will stay in the capital projects fund. He did get another quote that was uh, higher. I just don't. He, I don't have that with me. Okay. We need uh, a motion, or that's just a transfer of funds. Uh, that one I'll need a motion for. Okay. You so moved. Mm -hmm. Second. Roll call. Commissioner Stacy. Yes. Commissioner Thomas. Yes. Commissioner. Yes. Okay, moving on. Uh, we've already been through the health insurance update. I guess we're in. Is there, are there any other items? No, we should drag this out to 1201 so Ryan could have gotten lunch if he would have up. <laughs> 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 our audience is dwindling. You know that, or we, just, yeah. you know, we need we, to inquire what is, what is our Jimmy replacement's first name? Yes, uh, Jacob. 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 We could just buy Jacob. I'm going to call you Jimmy Jr. So <laughs> we, could Jacob, we could just buy Jacob lunch and yeah. get them both there. <laughs> let's, let's look into the camera as Ron watches this tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Getting closer to lunchtime, Ron. Donnie, the pizza's on its way. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's go through the uh, supplemental appropriations. Okay. I have a supplement to the permit appropriation to the general fund, putting 50000 into the uninsured expense. We had a couple more wind damages to roofs out south of town, so uh, I think we've collected so far 36000 and um, got 
some more coming. So I have a supplement to the permit appropriations to the real estate assessment fund. Uh, they're asking to put a total of $1,449.10 into um, hospitalization and HSA contributions. Um, and then we already did the rehabilitation grant. So then I have a resolution accepting the amounts and rates as determined by the Budget Commission, authorizing the, the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the county auditor. I don't know what that is. Whatever that means. Yeah. Every year, uh, Julie sends it to us. Okay. It's a basically a breakdown of um, all of the, the villages. Yeah, all of the okay. levy amounts. And there's a couple pages here. Um, if you want to go over them and look at them. Is that everything? Yes. That's all the resolutions. These are the current ones are not to propose, yeah. right? Yes. I move to accept a supplemental and other things as presented. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Tennis? Yes. Commissioner Kirscher? Yes. Okay. Time for public comment. We, went, we finally you know, outlasted them. <laughs> <laughs> we outlasted them. Uh, the, 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 the standing joke is, is if we ever go through noon, we'll buy lunch. <laughs> joke it is. <laughs> <laughs> the joke would be on us. <laughs> Anything from the league? Now's your perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah. you have the floor to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it. No, thank you. No. Okay, we are 11.37 adjourned.